Last week, Disney had their D23 event where they announced a lot of new shows and projects and movies. We've got stuff for Marvel. We've got stuff for Disney exclusively. We've got stuff for Lucasfilm, especially The Mandalorian, which I now have to say that might have to get my money. I wasn't big on the Disney Plus bandwagon before, but watching that trailer for The Mandalorian where it's something completely new and different for Star Wars, especially as a live action series, and it looks cinematic as all hell, I very much excited for it and I can't even front. Especially since they got my girl Ming-Na Wen in the cast now and I'm just saying to myself, hmm, this might need to get my money. But on the other side of things, we also have a new trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, which is supposed to end this latest trilogy of films and put a cap on potentially the whole Star Wars saga as we know it, including the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy. So what do we have in this new trailer? Not much of anything, if I'm being perfectly honest. We've got maybe about a third of it committed to just showing us old footage from the original trilogy and then going into just a pastiche of footage from the upcoming film and not really telling us much about the story. We don't really know where the characters are at or what they're going to be doing. Obviously, the First Order is still an issue and there's also the potential threat of Palpatine coming back, which has been hinted at, especially now with the new poster. And we also get a few interesting shots like C-3PO with red eyes and also, of course, Rey dressed in all black like the Omen, rocking a fold-out red lightsaber, you know, double-sided red lightsaber, and we're all wondering, what's going on here? Is she turning Sith? Is she breaking bad and going over to the dark side? What's happening? We're all confused, we're all excited, we're all losing our shit, running around the kitchens with our heads cut off like chickens, and I'm just wondering, how much stock we can put in this like how much can we get invested in what this trailer is showing us just because i'm looking at you jj abrams and what you did with the force awakens which was an okay film quite honestly but still a sort of shameless rehash and fan servicey product you know, taking the best bits from A New Hope and repurposing them in a way that I never really bought, you know, personally. And again, I'm probably going to piss off a lot of diehard Star Wars fans who are mad about all of the stuff that they did in The Last Jedi, but I vastly prefer that movie over The Force Awakens. And I was looking forward to seeing what they were going to continue to do differently with this new film. Now, they could still be doing a lot of different stuff, a lot of new things, but at the same time, I'm also thinking about how J.J. Abrams utilizes fan service for films, especially thinking back to Star Trek Into Darkness, where they just pulled a massive, you know, okie doke on the audiences with that one that I'm still not over this, like, what, seven years later? Bottom line is, I don't know how invested I can be in this whole idea of Ray being a Sith or becoming a Sith, and just because I feel like this would be the perfect opportunity for J.J. Abrams to say, hey, remember that scene in Empire Strikes Back where Luke fights Darth Vader on Dagobah and it ends up being a dream where he cuts off Vader's head and the face mask explodes and reveals Luke's face, I feel like it's going to end up being similar to that. And if that happens... Ooh, we're going to have some problems. I'm, I'm like dead, dead serious. We are going to have serious problems. I may, I may have to walk out of the theater if that ends up happening. And I know I'm starting to sound like a ranty fanboy now, just even entertaining such a thought, but that's one of the things that I'm very afraid of with J.J. Abrams coming back for this last film. And... Who knows, I could end up being wrong, and I hope I end up being wrong, because I've actually 
enjoyed what they've been able to do as far as bringing Star Wars back, focusing a little bit more on the characters than what they did with the prequel, which was, ooh, let's try all of this fun CG stuff and a lot of green screen and make something that doesn't feel tangible. And if nothing else, these new Star Wars films since Disney bought out Lucasfilm, they feel tangible, they feel real, and they feel like something that definitely recaptures the magic of the original films. So, if nothing else, I can at least appreciate it for that. But I swear to God, JJ, I swear to God, we are gonna have serious problems if this whole thing with, you know, Ray being a Sith ends up being some sort of massive fake out, like, or, you know, a dream sequence or something else that ends up not being anywhere nearly as interesting as where you could ultimately take the story of her actually turning over to the dark side. Because I know that was a big thing with Luke in Return of the Jedi as well. See, there you go. And him in his black suit, his new lightsaber, and the whole idea of oh my god, I've already gotten my hand cut off and had it replaced and this is just bringing me closer to what happened to my father, Darth Vader. So, I don't know, but we'll see. And again, like, there's not a lot of meat to this new trailer and I feel like that's kind of fine because sometimes trailers actually show too much, but at the same time, let's see where this goes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. What do you think of the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker trailer? Please feel free to leave comments in the section below. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video and be sure to share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on more at random videos.